right, we are almost done with this system. Not quite though. We've got a little sunshine out there right now, uh, but we have a little bit more to go before we're completely out of the woods. Uh, if we take you to the radar here, you'll notice that we've got this secondary little system, or it's all part of the same system rather, but you'll notice some of the moisture up uh, just north of Denver uh, right now. That is around uh, parts of Fort Collins. Uh, that will be moving through our region over the next couple of hours, but mainly kind of clipping parts of northeastern El Paso County. So uh, we have more of an orientation from kind of the north northwest to the southeast. So kind of clipping parts of Calhan, Rama, Simla. Uh, if we stop the radar, you'll notice current time. We're clearing out right now, but we still have more of this back towards parts of the Palmer Divide. So uh, we still expect a light little dusting out there, but you know, even the grass is warm. We've got warm ground surface temperatures, so we're not expecting anything of consequence this evening. Let's take you to Monument right now where we have a nice little round of sunshine happening from our Community Banks of Colorado camera. That is also helping to uh, melt some of that snow on the side roads. This little trough will pivot east as we move through Thursday. Uh, we're giving us a little brief break in between systems as we clear out. This next little wave, this one right here, is going to move across the state on Friday, and that will help to trigger some additional snow showers for us on Friday, but don't expect much. Uh, we'll probably see more cloud cover than anything else. Satellite and radar shows what's left of this system that stretches all the way down into parts of New Mexico. But of course, as we move through the evening hours, that next little round I was just referring to, that will clip Rama, Simla, Calhan, maybe even Falcon between about 7 and 9 p.m. And then we're completely done with the system and we'll continue to clear out overnight tonight. Thursday, welcome plenty of sunshine all across the southeastern plains and even parts of the high country across parts of Salida and the areas back into Alamosa. As we move through Thursday afternoon, Clouds start to increase. Friday will give us a chance for some cloud cover, not a completely cloudy day, but as this weak little system sweeps across the area, it is going to trigger some clouds overnight Thursday into Friday and the possibility of a little bit of snow. Uh, right now, the timing on this system is uh, still showing late Thursday night and into Friday afternoon, where still we could get a little isolated pop up shower or thunderstorm, but models are not pointing at much happening. We will really welcome plenty of sunshine by Saturday as high temperatures return into the 70s. But first things first, some sunshine tomorrow, 60s along and east of I-25, 58 degrees in the San Luis Valley. Woodland Park will be slightly cooler on Friday as we fall back into the 40s with about a 30% chance of a couple isolated snow showers in the morning and in the afternoon. Don't expect a complete washout of a day though. We really welcome beautiful conditions for Saturday as we climb back into the 50s with partly to mostly sunny skies. Pueblo County steady highs in the 60s for the next couple of days, 70s on Saturday, increasing clouds on Sunday, and temperatures in the 60s. Canyon City, 60s for the next couple of days, and then 70s in store for the weekend. We have that next system on tap Sunday afternoon and into Monday that will give us a couple afternoon showers, but again, not a washout there either. Well, of course, welcome all this sunshine for the weekend for Colorado Springs as well as we climb well into the 60s to near 70 degrees by Saturday. Sounds good. Nice warm up. Mary, thanks. Here's a look at